Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna do a little reactions video to a brand new product announcement in the world of reef automations. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this quick episode of Parker's Reef. I did just stumble across a brand new product announcement from the team at Focustronic. This time in relation to their Alcatronic range, they've got a brand new device called an Alcatronic Professional. And uh, there is a little video out talking about the brand new features of this device that I'm super hoping, fingers crossed, that we also have an AI generated presenter telling us all about it. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump on my computer, I'll green screen myself into that video and we'll have a look and see what they have to tell us about the brand new Alcatronic Professional. All right, here we are. Let's roll the footage and check it out. Fancy. Hi, welcome to Focustronic's second updated product release for 2024. Focustronic's flagship, the Alcatronic, is the mainstay alkalinity tester on the market today. From amazing home reef setups to large aquariums, to coral spawning and collection grow-out facilities worldwide, the Alcatronic keeps alkalinity on point with minimal running costs. We are delighted to announce the next generation of the Alcatronic. All right, before we roll on there, just pause things for a quick second. One point out that we do have our friendly AI-generated assistant taking us through this product release, which does bring a smile to my face. But also, we're just going to start off with a little uh, rehash of the Alcatronic, which has been out for a number of years now, and has obviously led to the Alcatronic Professional, which we're here to learn about today. So uh, let's keep the footage rolling and see how she goes. The Alcatronic Professional Alkalinity Tester. At Focustronic we believe we have listened to you, the user base, and have included a number of helpful features and improvements which takes the Alcatronic to the professional level. All right, before we roll through the uh, changes and updates, I'm just going to have a little laugh for a second at the Alcatronic announcement uh, from <laughs> the AI-generated assistant there. But uh, the main thing from that there is that uh, this is an evolution of the original Alcatronic, which has taken on board all of what they've learned over the years of running the Alcatronic. So they've listened to their user base, have refined and improved the device to get it as good as they possibly can. Because let's be honest, when we're talking uh, reef tank automations, every device out there has some rough edges and some flaws. Alcatronic have said, rather than throw the baby out with the bathwater, let's listen to our users and see if we can refine on any of these little uh, shortcomings or problems the system may have, which is great. So uh, let's listen to our friendly AI assistant as she rolls through the updates and enhancements on this new professional version. Alcatronic Professional or Pro is an all-in-one unit which monitors and controls three most important parameters in a reef system, DKH, pH and temperature. Just going to pause there. That's a nice little announcement. So it does measure three parameters. Obviously, it's an Alcatronic, so we're focusing primarily on alkalinity. But uh, temperature is a simple addition that I think every uh, smart device out there, every smart reef device anyway, should have because it's a fairly easy thing to add on. And if it's connected to Wi-Fi, it just makes sense to be able to uh, monitor and log that as well with some sort of warning system should things get too hot or too cold. pH is a super interesting one though because uh, if you don't know the way automated alkalinity testers run is they pretty much all use a pH probe to measure the solution or the sample of water as an acidic reagent gets added to it. Now, as a result, you've got a pH probe there and you should be able to measure the pH. Typically, alkali alkalinity testers have measured pH a little bit low due to the uh, remnants of that uh, acidic uh, reagent in the water. So I'm really curious to see how accurate the Alkatronic Professional measures pH. Let's roll the footage and see what else she has to tell us. All these parameters are capable of fluctuating within hours, especially in failure of other equipment in the system such as pumps, heater, reactors, lights, or even dosing units. So here are the highlights. Number one, the addition of scheduled tests like the Mastertronic. All right, I'm just going to pause her there. This is a very simple yet super important one that uh, I will admit has frustrated me with some of the other automated testers out there. Now, the ability to schedule tests and or have intervals 
is very, very important to me. I don't always like to be hemmed into having to do a test every set number of hours or a set number of times a day or anything like that. I want to be able to test at Tuesday at 12.32 p.m. if I want to and have it do that test the same time every week. Now, obviously, I'm not going to schedule that. Well, I say obviously, maybe I would, but I was going to say I'm not going to schedule that test in for that time every single week. I might just want to have a couple of very precise set times and have an interval between there. So I might want to do the Tuesday at 12.32 p.m. and maybe Thursday at, um, I don't know, quarter to two in the afternoon. But other than that, I might want the Alcatronic to just run tests every, say, four hours or six hours or something like that. Or maybe I want it to do every two hours but not bother testing while the lights are out. Something like that. It's awesome to see that this device will allow you to schedule tests as well as do intervals. So big thumbs up from me but you can still use test intervals 24 seven monitoring and controlling. Two, an added temperature sensor included to provide an additional parameter for control of the heater via Powertronic. All right, I'm gonna pause there. We talked about the temperature probe before. Simple thing to add in and include into the software. However, I do like the fact that this is gonna be able to give you control via the Powertronic. So you could plug things like your heater, your chiller, your fans, into the Powertronic and have the Alcatronic control them because this is gonna, as you can see by the uh, little probe hanging out the side there, this is gonna have a temperature reading 24 seven. So it's gonna be able to control those things without having to schedule tests for them, which um, is good. But I'm more excited by the fact that it's got a temperature probe and in a device that has Wi-Fi connectivity that can send you push notifications. So much like the Alcatronic does or the Mastertronic does, if you have a parameter that gets out of range, it can send you a push notification to let you know. This is gonna be able to do that with temperature as well, which is very, very good. It saves you buying a separate device to manage temperature or just to monitor temperature. Let's see what else this uh, lovely AI assistant has to tell us. Number three, all three parameters DKH, pH and temperature can be tested individually with a preset schedule. Got to pause there. Okay, so this overlaps a little bit with the first point. However, there are some key differences here. So we're talking about three parameters in DKH, pH and temperature, no problem there. They can be tested individually is the key thing there. So I talked about before about how the way alkalinity testers work with the pH probe and then you've got the reagent that goes in, but it's an acidic reagent and that obviously affects the pH and that's how it measures alkalinity, but it does often come at the cost of accuracy of pH. This device looks as if you can schedule a test just to measure pH. Now, I'm gonna assume and we'll double check before I release this video that that means you don't need a reagent for this to test your tank's pH. So if you wanted to, you could schedule a pH test every hour on the hour and this device is gonna go through that without consuming any consumables whatsoever. It's gonna log it in the app, it's gonna send you push notifications if it gets high or low. Super, super handy. And of course, you could uh, you could uh, control things with the uh, Powertronic as well. So if you wanna turn a Kalkwasser uh, pump on or off, something like that, or uh, maybe a Refugium light on or off, totally catering to those uh, ultra modern reefers out there that are looking to keep a stable pH and let their alkalinity swing as opposed to old school reefers like myself that wanna try and keep an stable alkalinity and let their pH swing a little bit. I mean, both parties are trying to keep both parameters as stable as possible, but they have a priority which shifts between the two. This device is looks like it will be capable to manage both, which is super, super handy. Obviously your alkalinity test is gonna use reagent as it goes. Temperature's free of charge. It's not gonna require anything. That probe's gonna be hanging in the water 24 seven and pH, you're gonna be able to schedule for it to bring water in, measure the pH, pump that water back out again. So super, super cool. Let's see what else our AI assistant has to say. Number four, it's the first KH controller for fresh water systems. Koi, planted tank and hydroponics. All right, before she rolls on to number five there, I'm just gonna quickly jump in here on number four. It's of very little interest to me, but I do know, particularly when I see that word koi there or even planted tank, there are some uber high end freshwater systems out there. And I'm assuming, I don't actually know, but I'm assuming that KH is still a parameter of interest for them. So uh, having a device that can also work in freshwater systems will be super handy for that side of the market. But um, little interest to me, but that's okay. This device hasn't been made for me. It's been made for the community. Let's check out Point number five. Five, ultra silent pump B as in the Mastertronic. 
All right, so this is a little bit of a uh, low-hanging fruit, this one. They've updated some of the uh, pump heads and pump motors in the device, so it's a much quieter pump. Uh, I've never actually used an Alcatronic before, so I wouldn't know how noisy it was, but it's obviously a lot quieter now. I can say that I do have a master drink, and uh, I rarely can hear that device in action, even when it's got a test scheduled when I'm sitting right at the tank. So if the Alcatronic Professional can be as, as quiet as that device, thumbs up from me. Six. Actions will be done via Powertronic and or Dosatronic Pro or Dosatronic DC. Yep, this one is a uh, fairly obvious one, I would assume. Uh, the Alcatronic Professional will allow you perform actions either via the uh, Powertronic or either of their dosing uh, units, which makes sense. I mean, the previous Alcatronic would allow you to manage your uh, alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium with some pre-built uh, profiles there so that uh, when your alkalinity was getting consumed, you could also increase the dosage of not just your alk, but also your calcium, magnesium, and any other parameters you felt were getting consumed at a uh, similar sort of ratio now obviously with the addition of the ph and the uh and uh, the temperature of the alcatronic professional they've included the ability to do actions via the powertronic so like we touched on before heaters chillers fans but also things like calcosa feed pumps or refugium lights or um, i'm not sure maybe uh, uh linear actuators onto windows so that you can get fresh air in the house something like that the ability to uh, expand your system on those actions super super handy let's check out the next couple of points Number seven, new and improved electronic circuits. Just before she gets to point eight there, this one, uh, it will be of interest to uh, people out there. I, like I said before, I've not personally ever actually ran an Alcatronic myself, but I am on the uh, Focustronic uh, user groups because of my usage of the Mastertronic at my Dream Reef tank. And one thing I do see semi-frequently, I mean, I'm sure there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of these Alcatronic devices out there in the wild, but I do occasionally see disgruntled users talking about how it, uh, it kills or wipes SD cards and they have to have a backup of that SD card. I'm assuming this improved electronics is going to address that because that was one of the common grumbles of the previous Alcatronics. So fingers crossed the improved electronics circuits fixes that problem, but uh, it's gonna fix any other issues that potentially I was not aware of anyway. So improved electronics, always a good thing. Let's check out point number eight. Eight, updated setup and connection software platform for connecting to Wi-Fi in the Focustronic all-in-one app. Cool, all right, number eight. This is obviously the path that all uh, reef automation devices are going, whether it be Reef Factory, whether it be Red Sea, or whether it be Focustronic, they're all moving to a all-in-one app, which makes it easier for you to connect and control and do monitor all of your devices across that range. So the fact that Alcatronic's not using its own app, it's coming into the all-in-one app, makes sense, particularly if you're gonna have it alongside things like your Dosetronics or your Mastertronics or anything like that, and of course your Powertronics, I guess. It makes sense to have it all in the one app, allow you to do those uh, can, uh, the setup and connection, but also the, uh, the control and monitoring from there. Uh, let's check out the next point. Nine, voice command to start tests and get results from DKH, pH and temperature screens. Cool, I'm gonna pause it right there because this is something that Focustronic recently updated on the Mastertronic. It's something I absolutely love, being able to ask your um, assistant who is spelt S-I-R-I, -I, uh, what your phosphate is, your magnesium is, your nitrate is, whatever that is, without having to get uh, your phone out of your pocket, open up an app, wait for it to connect to the cloud, go into the results section and have a look at the last test. You can simply ask your own phone or your watch what your uh, phosphate result is, and it will pop up on screen. Now, I'll put a little overlay on screen of how um, I do that on my phone. Hey Siri, what's my phosphate? Currently for things like phosphate works a treat. So seeing that this will be added to the uh, Alcatronic Professional for obviously DKH, the main <laughs> reason for the device, but also pH and temperature is great. It does seem a little bit flashy or a little bit unnecessary, but I can say when you've got uh, wet hands or you're uh, uh, halfway through a, skin, a skimmer uh, uh, service and you've got all skimmate all over your hands, the last thing you wanna do is reach into your pocket and get your phone out and uh, operate it from there. Being able to ask via voice command what your parameters are is super, super handy. Let's check out the next point. 10, updated and improved fail-safe functions. Cool, another one I think is probably just rounding out the numbers there, but uh, improved fail-safe functions doesn't actually stipulate whether that's software or hardware or whether it's potentially both, but um, 
ideally it's a good thing. I mean, no one's gonna complain about improved file safe functions as long as they're uh, robust and continue to work properly. It is something we all have to be super mindful of when we're talking about reef tank automations is that automation sometimes can go wrong. And if you have something fail over, you don't want it to uh, make drastic changes to your tank. So uh, improved file safe functions, always gonna get two thumbs up from me. Let's see what else our friendly AI assistant has to tell us about the new Alcatronic Professional. This comparison chart show you the difference between the existing Alcatronic and the new Professional. As you can see, the new features and updated improvements can will be great for the day-to-day -day running of your tank. Okay, just gonna pause her there. Uh, yeah, th this graph actually very kindly shared with our AI assistant here uh, is showing us that the Alcatronic Professional is a, um, it, it's more of an evolution than a revolution. Obviously it's a device that still measures alkalinity automatically. That's the uh, purpose of it. It has some additional features built into it. If you've recently purchased an Alcatronic, would I throw it out to buy the new Alcatronic Professional? Absolutely not. Um, there's, some, there's some small little improvements there that I think do make it a uh, more impressive device, but um, it, it's definitely not something that's going to cause you to yeah, do something drastic like throwing out a previous Alcatronic. The second thing that uh, confirms that with me is that I have heard on the grapevine that the Alcatronic Professional will hit the market at approximately the same price as the original Alcatronic, which does sort of further in, uh, suggest in my mind that this is an evolution of that original Alcatronic. It's, it's kind of like Alcatronic version two rather than a completely separate device, which um, is a good thing. It's always good when uh, lessons are learned, feedback's taken on board and small iterations are all bundled up and you've got a new and improved Alcatronic. But uh, let's keep rolling the footage and see what else our friendly AI assistant has to tell us in about another 20 seconds of footage. Focustronic is dedicated to updating and improving our range as technology evolves and help you achieve your very best in making water stability through true integration and automation easier. Stay tuned for release dates and more information from Focustronic. All right, I'm gonna jump out of the computer and we'll wrap this video up at my uh, studio. All right, guys, there you have it. That was my quick little reaction video to the product announcement from Focustronic, which is their Alkatronic Professional, that brand new automatic alkalinity tester that also does temperature and pH on schedules or intervals, which is super, super cool. Now, as touched on in the video, I did hear a little whisper that this product is gonna come out if not exactly the same, very close to the price of the original Alcatronic, which in today's day and age where I was gonna say reefing products, but just everything in general gets more and more and more expensive by the day. Focustronic have rolled up their sleeves and made this device with extra features jammed into it the same price, or at least close to the same price as the original Alcatronic, which is super, super refreshing. And I do appreciate their work for making that happen. Now, I have also heard a little inside word that this product could be expected around May to June this year. So we are not far off seeing it hit the shelves. So if you are in the market for a brand new automated alkalinity tester, I'd highly encourage you to hold out and see how this device goes. I will do my best to get my hands on one so I can give it a thorough review when it does come out and you can follow all of the updates right here on this channel. Now, just as we wrap things up, I do have one more little announcement to say, and that is that Focustronic to celebrate the product announcement of the Alcatronic Professional are going to give one of these units away to someone anywhere in the world. Now, that is anywhere in the world, not just Australia. So my viewers that watch from the UK, from America or anywhere else in the world, you're all absolutely entitled to enter this competition. I'll put all the details on screen. It's a very simple process to go in to be in the running to win this device sent to your door anywhere in the world free of charge. And I would highly encourage everyone to do so because uh, you know what they say, you've got to be in it to win it. Now, other than that, I don't have much more to add other than if you want to see even more reef automation videos on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notifications because uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be reviewing one of the competitor products to Focustronic and that is the Kamoa Reef Master Spa. You'll follow or you'll find all of the details right here on this channel and I look forward to bringing you as unbiased and as informed information as I can to help you guys out there make the most of your reef automation journey. Now, I don't have anything else to add guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers, bye.